Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Inc. So yesterday I went undefeated at the Emerge Victorious first ever tournament. Uh, it was five rounds long. We played tons of meta decks, uh, brand new first weekend into EX2. Super excited about it. Uh, I was trying to figure out what the best deck to counter a lot of what we've been seeing so far, as well as working in D Reaper into the mix and just kind of seeing, you know, what deck would match up. And this was the deck that I sell settled on. It's a yellow hybrid deck like we've seen before, but we've dropped the Rapidmon package entirely in favor of the Gilmon with the Gigimon Inheritable. So now we're drawing two every time we swing with that. And then lots of red options because what does D Reaper hate? Gaia Force and security. Don't forget our new memory marker this month is Narrowmon. If you're playing a yellow hybrid deck, rocking some Ophanimon or a Mastamon deck, this is a perfect memory marker for those types of decks. This is handmade out of clay by my wife, hand painted as well. You can find this on our Etsy store, link in the des description below. Also there, you can find all of our previous memory markers that we featured on the channel, as well as some of our Battle Ready Ink merch. All right, so got the deck pulled up for you guys so you can just kind of see it as we uh, talk through and work through everything. Uh, I do want to talk about my uh, my matches for the day so that way you can kind of see, you know, what we went against and uh, kind of understand, you know, how it mat matched up to things. Um, so very first round uh, was against Imperial. Uh, we, we took it 2-0. Basically, you just kind of control the field. Uh, every If they ever go into something like a dragon mode and spit out their uh, their level 4s, right, uh, to go into like more plays on the next turn, uh, Crimson Blaze just really wrecks that. Just deletes their level 4s off the field, and then you can just kind of take out the Mega beyond that if you want to Gaia Force it, Eden's Javelin, whatever the case may be. Um we just kind of controlled the field and then just nickel and dimed them. Like they could just never hit in. Every time they would like swing in, uh, jamming doesn't really matter in this because we have so many options. Like literally, we have 12 different options they can hit in security potentially that just ruins their day. Uh, and if you even want to look at it to defeat, that's potentially 14 just terrible things that they do not want to see get hit in security. That's a big chunk of your deck that, you know, they absolutely hate. So jamming doesn't really matter. Uh, round two, we won. Uh, in time, we won game one in time. Yes, it was against a yellow mirror match. They were running the Rapid Mon build, uh, so it was just a whole lot of back and forth. I think the thing that I really like about this in the mirror match is that I can apply pressure so much easier than they can. Uh, Gilmon just swinging for uh, and drawing me too makes my Eden's Javelin super powerful, super fast. Um, and then what? Are they, they don't ever want to commit anything to a Gilmon. So a Gilmon swings in, hits a Tamer. Okay, they don't they don't do anything. They don't try to clear it. I swing again with Gilmon again, hit a Tamer. Like, are they gonna, really going to bring out a Rapidmon just to deal with a Gilmon? Probably not. And so that whole time, I'm just like setting up. Yeah, they're setting up too, um, but I'm getting ahead. Okay, I'm clearing things. I'm clearing security and that sort of thing and just getting further and further ahead while while they're having to like sit there and wait for that prime opportune moment to Rapidmon. Uh, so we did finally take that game. We both uh, Susanode twice. So uh, playing with a 60-card deck, let me tell you, that's that's pretty crazy. Uh, and then we played a D-Reaper deck, and kind of the kind of the same thing there. We uh, we just kind of waited them out. They eventually did deck themselves out um, between all their searchers, literally their searchers drawing one, and then their uh, what is it the the feet card that you know searches two cards like that deck does a ton of draws and searches like literally. I mean, it's crazy how much they like turn churn through their deck it's pretty pretty phenomenal uh so if you can just hold them off and the second they go into reaper thinking they're going to go in for like 10 checks uh you've used that time also to play your tks to play your zoe's okay reinforce memory boost uh you know jet sylphie ofanimon you've cycled your security out and you've put your gaia force in there by that point you know your gaia force is sitting in there doesn't matter okay you know you're fine uh you do need to control the board you don't want them swinging in early against you um with other stuff and triggering the gaia force too early um so just kind of keep that in mind also so uh when you start to see it make sure you get your gaia force uh in that security as quickly as 
possible. Uh, so that way you're ready for the uh, for the Reaper. But between all this crazy amount of cycling we do, it's pretty easy to get a guy of horse. Uh, I would say every game I had a guy of horse. Uh, get into security by the time they got reaper in play i mean it takes reaper several turns i mean they have to get seven searchers underneath that um mother d reaper before the reaper comes online that gives you several turns of you know cycling through your own security and preparing for it uh round after that uh we beat another two uh, or another imperial we beat this one 2-0 uh, it's probably the fastest match of the day um just the same thing. We just controlled their board. Uh, the the Crimson Blaze was phenomenal. The Eden's Javelin was phenomenal in this matchup. Even the Gaia Force. Like, there was a couple times where I just Gaia Force Pyeldramon. Like, let me just take Pyeldramon out of the mix and all of its inheritables and just set you back to, uh, you know, stage one. You only have so many Pyeldramon in a deck, okay? And for you to see all of them is kind of difficult at times. So you clear them enough off and then you have nothing to worry about. And then you just get to kind of... You know, take your time at clearing their security once you've dealt with all the, the big threats in their deck. Place another D Reaper. So final round was D Reaper. And this is when we actually went 1-1. One, one. It was a draw. Um, so, so wild. Um, the the ending to this tournament. Uh, game 1, uh, this was against uh, Cordero Spencer. Uh, he's a big commenter on you on facebook you probably see him uh pretty often uh super nice guy very very chill to play against uh had a lot of fun uh game one <laughs> we literally both went down to a single uh card in our deck i just happened to deck out before he did um i couldn't grab my second susano mine uh he actually hit it in security super fast uh and i couldn't grab it out with a tk uh, fast enough um so i could only susano mine once and uh yeah so and i really needed it a second time if we could have susano mine a second time uh we would have probably won that one uh and then game two uh managed just to keep clearing them keep clearing them crimson blaze every time they put two bodies on field we'd crimson blaze uh not counting mother d reaper so like that would be like three bodies on field so i can crimson blaze for a three cost clear two bodies and i just never allowed them to put pressure on as much as possible uh and then eventually like literally uh it was the final turn of uh in overtime right on game two we drew the susano mon for turn uh we're able to evo into it and keep it on our turn swing three security checks and then swing with defeat for game uh in game two so uh super super close so crazy uh game one was like right on the edge and then game two also just right on the edge ton of fun really uh really put me through my paces and that and it showed me like the weak points of the deck if the opponent swings in too early uh just trying to get really aggressive even with d reaper instead of going for reaper they just start to swing with really cheap stuff uh if they trigger that guy of force too soon by the time they do get into the Reaper, you know, the chances of having, you know, multiple Gaia Forces is kind of slim. Um, and then at that point, they can just take you. So uh, that's kind of the, the weak point of the deck. But we'll go ahead and do a card by card if you're still here. Uh, we got Gigimon. I've already talked about it a little bit there. Uh, this is a fantastic new card for Gilmon. Uh, this card has Gilmon, Gramon, Gallimon in the name. Draw one when attacking. So then you go with the promo Gilmon of when attacking, trigger, draw one. Um, so every time you attack with Gilmon, you draw two. And on this turn, and against D Reaper that has tons of searchers that are all 1,000 DP, surviving in security is e is pretty easy. I, I, my Gilmon survived more times today attacking uh, than he did dying. Literally spent more time surviving the security checks than he did dying in security checks. Pretty phenomenal. Even against like yellow hybrid, there's tons of you know all these other things. I'm, they're just not worried about. Uh, if I hit an option in security, they're more worried about killing like a hybrid or something like that. They're not worried about a Gilmon. And Gilmon just racking up the victories over here. So Gilmon phenomenal. Uh, the the yellow hybrid package. There's not really anything to discuss. Jet Sylphy just recovers an insane amount. Uh, I do have the Ofani Mons in here. The fall down modes for the recovery plus one. Um, Again, we're just trying to cycle Gaia Force into security as much as possible, repeatedly as much as possible, as well as the Crimson Blade and Edens. Like, Edens can get hit in other matchups and just absolutely devastate. Like I said, the Gilmon and Gigimon here, like... They rack up your hand size so insanely fast compared to anything else I've ever run in this game um, that my Edens becomes huge, 
huge, super fast. Um, so yeah, uh, fall down mode. Just and I went with a four of. Uh, originally, I had two in here. Um, I just I had extra slots. I had four defeat, but four defeat actually felt a little cloggy. Yeah, it's nice when it gets hit in security, and the more you have in deck, the more likely it is to hit in security. But honestly, I really just dead drew these things uh, way too many times. Uh, I evoed more defeats today on top of Ophanimon than they got hit in security. Like by and large, like totally uh, but i popped a ton of tamers like in all my games i was popping tamers constantly every single game i think i popped a tamer with defeat on top of ophanimon yeah i lose my uh, my ability to float into a level four but it's not the worst thing um because once defeat hits the field they really don't want to de delete a defeat uh, because then they're going to lose something themselves um so yeah then defeat just starts putting in work you know turn after turn after turn so really really uh, good stuff i did debate running the uh, the OG uh, Seraphimon that gets the recovery as well as security attack plus one. He's only a three Evo cost, so all I need is a single memory fixer, and I can Evo into him like on turn and still attack for two checks. And in this format, like speed is kind of key um, against D Reaper, it's key against Imperial, it's key. I mean, even in the mirror match, it's kind of key. Like you really need to put out damage really quickly. And uh, Seraphimon, like, still debate running that Seraphimon. But if I run the Seraphimon, I'm not going to run the defeat. And if I'm not running the defeat, there, I don't really feel much of a need to run fall down mode at that point. Um, but aside from it floating back into a level four, like, that's the only benefit I ever got out of uh, a fall down mode. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a balancing game of what you prefer. The security attack plus one is nice in this format. Uh, I'll just say that. Uh, defeat, we talked about. Uh, Susanamon, I talked about a little bit mainly it's just for the mirror match and any of these other long games it's just about putting 10 cards from trash back into your deck so you don't deck out literally that one game we we went through two susano mons each each and uh yeah that's uh, insane and we still almost decked out even after that uh so yeah uh susano mon is very very clutch definitely a two of minimum uh, I think two is like perfect, honestly. Even if it gets put in security, use your TK to grab it out. Like if you see Susanomon and you're playing the mirror match and you play a TK, grab it out. Okay, I'm just telling you, you're gonna you're gonna need it. Uh, next we got the Crimson Blade Blaze, which is super clutch, so powerful all day, all day. This is so good. Reduce the memory cost of this card in your hand by one for each Digimon your opponent has in play. So against Mother D Reaper, they're gonna have the Mother D Reaper in play that counts as one. So instantly this becomes a five. And typically you're pop, you want to pop two things when you play this card. So all day this was like a three play cost. Uh, pop two on their field. Uh, pretty good stuff. The Jerry's are really important for that deck. And if they ever stick a Jerry. You got to get rid of it. You got to get rid of that super fast. And Crimson Blaze is like the ideal card to use to clear it. Um, you could use an Eden's Javelin, but I really like saving the Eden's Javelins for the Gatekeepers uh, because that was just like the best way to more efficient. I could use the Gaia Force um, on the Gatekeepers, but uh, Eden's Javelin drawing me card, keeping that advantage going was also super, uh, super important. And then the Gaia Force is just, I think it's the best card that can get in, hit in security to take down uh, D Reaper. I mean, or Reaper in general. Um, it's also, you know, good for clearing other things, like clearing out a, uh, a Gatekeeper that's on field. If you don't have the cards, uh, you know, for Edens to, to pop off, you know, Gaia Force, that works. Uh, Gaia Force... So much, like I said, I Pyildramon, I Gaia Forced, uh, I Gaia Forced, you know, Dragon Modes, um, yeah, uh, of Ophanimons, uh, like it's such a generic card. Uh, th the only thing that we have to worry about typically with this card is um, X Antibody. So, uh, and X Antibody is just not in a good place right now. It just has not been performing well. Um, so, and like that's, and it only dodges it that the one turn they go into uh, Doru Greymon. So they have to go Doru Greymon and then into a Mega and then attack. That takes a ton of memory and a ton of setup. Um, so they have to get that perfect combo off to dodge Gaia Force. And if they can't get that perfect combo off, then yeah, Gaia Force is still going to wreck them in security. So uh, most often, people go in into Dora Greymon to pass turn to keep it on on field to guarantee it stays on field for a turn to set up for the following turn. And uh, by the time it comes back to them, you know Gaia Force in security is live again. So yeah, 
great card. Edens is great. Reinforce is great. Um, those turns where you're just like, I don't want to overextend. I don't want to play into like an, an, an Izzy and Joe. I don't want to put multiple bodies on field. Uh, I don't want to stick a tamer. I'm just going to reinforce. You know, give me some setup for a pre an, an later turn so I can go like, you know, reinforce with, you know, extra memory and go into like a Susano Mon. We're just going to like an insane play of go all the way up into a Ofani Mon. You know, you got your memory fixer and your reinforce and then you go all the way up into a Ofani Mon. Use like Akari to suspend to gain one memory back so it's still on your turn. And then you can swing with the Ofani Mon. Like reinforce is just really, really powerful. Uh, TK here is just to cycle out the security. I did to like afterwards think maybe swapping the ratios of the duo tamer and the tk simply because i really needed to pull the susano mons out in the mirror match as well as against d reaper uh if you're if you have a susano in in security you need to get it out of there you need to get it in hand uh because you're going to need both your susano mons in the mirror match or against d reaper uh, a lot of the time uh so i did i have debated swapping that back out uh between these two uh TK and Kari. We're not running the Cody's here because we're not running the um, uh, Rapid Mon. And if I'm not running Rapid Mon, I, I lose too much value in Cody. Um, so I'd rather just run the TK and Kari. And the TK and Kari's are actually pretty good. Um, yeah, the, the memory gain, like normal, is always awesome. But against D Reaper, and I know I talk about D Reaper a lot, but that's like the big new thing that people are like trying to figure out how to work against. Uh, they typically will play a searcher, absorb it, and then play a second searcher. They can only absorb one per turn, and so they'll leave that searcher out on the field, and then you can just swing TK and Kari minus 1K on that 1,000 DP searcher and clear it off field. Uh, I, I did that several times. I would like go two TKs and then like clear off their searchers. Um, just lots of stuff. I, there was several 1,000 DP things today that I just cleared with TK and Kari. Like, they're still good. They're still solid. Uh, yeah, Cody doing minus 2K is pretty good, but, I mean, I'm only going to trigger that off of uh, fall down mode. I'd rather just get the TK Kari uh, value so much more often. Uh, Zoe's, I did go ahead and bump them up to four. I was down to three for a while, um, but, again, it, it just kind of came back to I need to cycle security. I need to cycle security. I need to cycle security. Um, so playing cards like TK and Zoe, so I can constantly keep – track of what's in my security uh know if i need to keep playing tks or if i need to stop playing tks because i got too much red and white in there or you know just too much red um i should hold off on playing tks and so i keep playing the zoe's to keep playing uh pulling out all the other stuff and keep cycling um and so that was kind of the the goal there with the zoe's was to keep checking to make sure it was safe for tk to get played and that was kind of the cycle there uh and then i kind of rounded it off with the Kari's. the Kari's were pretty solid um there for a bit i debated i needed the tk bumped up so bad i debated dropping the Kari, but i think just dropping the duo tamer is better um the Kari, the two Kari's put in a good amount of work um ofani mon you know is a three or four evo cost if you evo a funny mon suspend kari it kind of makes it a three evo cost keeping it on your turn so you can still attack that sort of thing or evo into a defeat to pass turn and pop a tamer uh so i think the Kari's are still pretty important we do like i said a ton of recovery the tks the zoe's the jet silfies though uh the fall down modes like Kari still puts in a lot of work i really like the Kari's as well um so that would be literally the only change i could think of like the deck performed like way beyond my expectations i absolutely thrilled with how this deck turned out um yeah just great great stuff for sure very very happy with it also a link to emerge victorious's uh discord page is down below they said they're going to try to host these tournaments every two weeks uh these are th uh this is the creator of these mats here i'll go ahead and uh throw up pictures of them on the screen uh great stuff definitely check out their facebook page Go ahead and throw it up on, on here as well. They have a, a Facebook page. Super easy to find. Uh, they're always posting you know, stuff like that. There's their, their win a match, uh, win a pack there if they're... Uh uh, their mats there definitely going to be picking up those uh the sister mons uh tamer for for my prize for first place just because i'm so ready for uh some jess mon revival really uh, really excited for that so um great great stuff definitely uh check these guys out uh like i said every two weeks we're gonna be hosting these tournaments uh i think first place is they even get packs and then second and third place uh then they're going to open up to 
top eight get prizes. So definitely check them out if you want to win some of this stuff. Because, I mean, I definitely cannot complain for sure. Like, I had a blast. The players were awesome. Uh, had a ton of fun.